afternoon, good evening, good morning, whatever time of day you've chosen to join us, thank you and welcome to the new format from the Back Cave. That's right, every show with an individual piece of coverage. We're like the ESPN of geeky shit. <laughs> Joining me this week, or I should mention right off the bat, in case you don't know, who doesn't know I'm the best? I'm your host, Adam Gerard, and if you don't know me, you'll love me, I'm the greatest one of us. Joining me this week are... The Commander Riker to my Captain Picard, the handsome son bitch with the beard, the Murray sensation himself, the dad, not Braden Ahern. Hi. My Lieutenant Commander Data, in that, like, he can't really do anything correctly, he's kind of stilted and retarded, and let's face it, any beard he grows is just going to be stuck in his face. Anyway, it's Matt the Pro Bridges. <laughs> Sup? And our Geordie LaForge or Wharf, because, <laughs> well, he's black. Twain, the Elder Campbell, El, El Cool Elder himself. Hey, Captain. And how are we this week, gentlemen? I, I'll take him more for a war. But I reckon when he rages, I reckon he rages. Oh. Yeah, well, that's called, like, fortnightly at the Centrelink office. <laughs> Except when you, especially when I wait for you to get your doll check. Yeah, well, you know, I've got to give him money for the bus. <laughs> Brother. Get a right shit. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk. Let's talk. What we're here to talk about in this video. It came back early. It came back early. It came back strong. Fuck off. It came, it came back, back hard strong. and it came back long. Let's talk Gotham and uh, let's kick it back into Studio HQ for Wayne's recap. So this is LL Cool Elder. I'm just replacing, you know, um, LL Cool Gabe because, you know, black, you know, pretty. <laughs> So I'm here today for um, Gotham Season 3, Episode 1, which is called Better to Reign in Hell. And I think it's better to live in hell because I had to watch that you know, show. Anyway, six months down, you know, after the last signing of Fish Mooney, uh, Lee's moved on, found a new man, and um, Gordon comes back and, you know, gets a surprise he life when he saw her and him kissing. You, know what, so? you want some pancakes, Master B? <laughs> yeah, thanks. Alan. You want hash brown as well, <laughs> Master B? Oh, fuck. Oh. You sure you want some pancakes, Master oh, B? Man. Yeah, alright. <laughs> oh. Oh, Can I get your coffee as well, Master B? <laughs> you better now, hurry up. Yeah, alright. Oh. I'll be there in a sec. Sorry. Bloody butlers. He, awesome. recap he recapped it hard there. Let's uh, let's talk about this episode, yeah? He here's my review. Five words. I can do it in five words. Not enough penguin and butch. Look, he's not wrong. Um, but there wasn't enough anything in this thing. I mean, uh, the, the storyline of, of Talon um, and him wandering around like an idiot that doesn't know anything is kind of boring. I like the fact that Kid playing Bruce changed his voice for both characters. True. Yeah. Like, that, that's, that was a good choice. That's credit to the, the, yeah, that's the, what the mean. Like actor, the actor, the actor. not the actual storyline. I'm talking about the storyline. Um, it, it, it feels just like Season two, start. No, I reckon, no, I reckon this is worse. This is, this is worse than season two, start. Here we go. Braden's got the hot. Braden's got the hot. The hot choice already. Oh, let's go. Go. Get into it, son. Go, son. Season two, start. Season one and season two. They started off. Okay, season one started off a lot better, but they tend to sort of start off strong and then just go to shit. This just. I, what, what, what did they cover in this episode? Like, at the end of last season, they went Court of Hours. I'm like, oh, yeah, cool, Court of Hours. And then all that we got of Court of Hours was do it quietly. Well, we got... We, it confirmed... It confirmed that it's Talon. It confirmed... Oh, and, uh... Barbara is now the new, uh... Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. Um... Riddler will get out. Uh, yeah, Riddler can solve a puzzle in like yeah. two, three seconds. Riddler's fucking amazing at puzzles. But he was actually good. At puzzles? No, he was actually, he was the, uh, the him and Penguin were the only two ones I liked. 
Because yeah, uh, yeah, well, I, no, I, I think I think no. I think it's a, again it's a credit to the actors playing these characters as opposed to I'm talking about story. Oh, story and I yeah. are talking storyline. Oh, story yeah, yeah well, storyline. Actors, actors are great. Um, there's a couple that, you know, there's a few that I just really don't want to see anymore, but, um, the ones that stick out in your mind are really good actors. Yeah. Anytime you look at the go, oh yeah, but Penguin was good and, and, uh, Riddle was good. You're looking at the, the yeah, actors, true. not, not so much that's this true. story, this yeah. episode. They're... The things that they're doing with this though are weird. Like, it's like, hey, we need to write Ivy off. Should we just like have her fall in this pipe? Like, I'm not sure if that was, like, a metaphor for, like, you know, if you hit the crack pipe, you get washed away or what, but... Yeah. No, I can, I can tell you exactly what that is. Um, they've actually, they've recast Ivy. Yep. As a much older lady. Um, so, it, I think, so what that is, is the, the dude who ages people, he touched her, she ages a little bit, falls in air, must somehow get her powers, I'm guessing. So that, that was her becoming Poison Ivy, but an older lady. Well, when I say an older lady, I mean older than a child. <laughs> and, and can I just say, I mean, like, uh, I, I do love Selena Kyle in this, but her crying skills? She looks like she's Come smiling. On. Come on. You know what's weird? I didn't think Bruce had grown, because he doesn't look, like, taller than anybody else in this show until you saw him with her, and you're just like... Whoa, he grew like a fucking foot. Gross bird, bitch. Yeah, and she's just like... That was after breakfast. Sorry, what was that? Come again for Big Cheek? That was after breakfast, after he had his pancakes. <laughs> his hot pancakes. Yeah. Um, the scene in the uh, boardroom with the board of directors in, uh, for Wayne. Uh, Wayne Tower, that yeah. was pretty cool. Where Bruce was like, no, nah, I've got evidence. That's one of you guys in here. And what, the thing that stuck that out... scumbag that, is so totally the yeah. dude, too. Well, they reveal that. But that was, like, the dude in the mask. In the what episode. a man. Did you not watch this episode? Not really, no. I will admit, I, will admit, I was doing other <laughs> things at the time, because I was like, uh-huh. <laughs> um, no. But uh, when, when Alfred <laughs> went... <laughs> It's not Legends of Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> when uh, when Alfred went mental at the the scumbag in the in the room, that was awesome. Yeah, that yeah. was that was it's very Alfred. cool. It's Alfred. It's Alfred. But again, it, it's a credit to. But uh, here's here's the thing too, right? Just just a question though, how many fuckers have broken into Wayne Manor yet Alfred keeps leaving those windows open? <laughs> <laughs> not not only does he not leave them open, he takes the time to open them every day just to close them. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I, I think Jim Jeffries said it in one of his senses, like, maybe if he didn't leave the fucking windows open, we wouldn't be getting fucking murdered. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I have to admit, with, you know, when he's talking to Bruce, this is Alfred talking to Bruce, and when he said, um, you know, uh, Master B. Yeah. You know, I was thinking, what the hell, he's an old bloke, is he trying to appeal to the, you know, street, get his uh, street cred up? No, I, I didn't. I didn't mind. I don't mind that as much. I didn't well, that. But it, it did not fit. It did not fit for me. You know, I was because he's in the boardroom. I, I think. Oh, in that. In, I guess in that setting. In yeah, that setting, I, I get no, your point. In that. In that setting, yeah, he should have called him Master Bruce. Yeah, yeah that was. True. Yeah, I guess yeah. that's true. It's a bit informal. I thought but. he didn't call him Master B until after the, the, the boardroom. No, no, before. Before he went in. Oh. I guess that was Alfred, probably Alfred trying to protect him, and then when you, when you know, Bruce goes in and he just Batmans the fucking down, he's just like, well, you can either do what I say or you can suck my dick. I'm going to go see that, that small bitch named Cass. So yeah. Alfred, get my pancakes. <laughs> yeah. Pancakes, sir? Yeah, pancakes. I'm a pancake her. Oh, <laughs> shucky ducky. Or you can eat buffet pancakes. Oh, man. Now. He was all like, check out my maple syrup. Oh, sublam! You know what's interesting though? Selena has the chance to be spit roasted by two Bruces. Because <laughs> <laughs> they both love her. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Hashtag make it real, make it raw. Make it in the back door. Remember that time Jesse Eisenberg said Comic Con was, was like was yeah. like that? I, I disagree. 
having to watch... Uh, if Gotham was 30 minutes long, it'd be okay, but having to watch an hour's episode of Gotham, that's... That's hard for... It's cool. weak. That's, that's worse than how Jesse Eisenberg feels about Comic-Con. Also, why was... why Jim, Jim stalks all the way to where Leslie is and then sees her inside a house, like, touching a guy on his chest and he's all like, well, oh, she's she, drinking wine, I'm leaving. She kissed him. Whatever, same shit. But... Socker's got it, a goalie, doesn't mean look, he can't it score. It did look like a lot like, uh... Jim. Uh, Jim? Yeah. Jim. I thought it was. Same. I thought, I thought it was something in his head rather than... Yeah. Yeah, the whole the whole scene looked like it was a dream scene. Maybe. Because I swear that was Jim in there kissing her. No, it wasn't. No, no, it, no, no it wasn't Jim in there kissing her. But I don't know, they, they shut the door on that pretty quick. They wanted to get her out, I reckon. I don't think she's going to. Oh, she had to go film Deadpool. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, look, we just need you for 10 seconds of shooting for this first episode, and we never need you back. And that's pretty much what this. Yeah, they're rotting her off as well, I reckon. Yeah, she's she's gone. And I don't know, I'm, I'm a little bit over Barbara. Like, she's kind of pointless now. Oh, come on. She's just crazy and shit. Like, if you punch her, she'll laugh. We've just, we just, she's, she's just gonna get uh, pushed into a, a vat of wax. And she's like, just gonna get pushed into a shut the fuck up, bitch. And, and she'll have like blue and, and pink hair, <laughs> but like on different sides. They're making, they're making their own, um, like a Harley Quinn film. Yeah. Apparently, they want to use it to incorporate a lot of the, like the comics does a lot of the lower level DC female characters. And I'm just like, cool, how long to Jared Leto's like, yeah, I should be in that. <laughs> you know, he's pulled it, like, he's... Uh, I know he's pulled it multiple times, he sent it to people in jail. No, 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 he's, um, he, I don't think he's, he's recasting as Joker. You mean they're recasting him? Yeah. Oh, with two? He, no, well, apparently he said that he doesn't want to be a part of it because of the negativity that he... Oh, say, saving face. Yeah. You know, I don't want to be part of it because uh, I'm a terrible actor and... Uh, no, I fucked it up. And yeah, I'd just like to thank the Academy for not giving me an award because I don't deserve it. I'm a shitbox. Yeah, well, so sadly, I don't think even recasting that's going to help it. Like, the way they've even written the character is shit. As I say, give it. The, the, this is all pre. This is all pre. One man's vision. We can't judge anything before Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman onwards is where we get to go. Yeah, these are shit. I'm looking forward to the next couple of years. Yeah, me too. Hopefully, you die. <laughs> but in all seriousness, in all seriousness, are you looking forward it forward to it for Marvel films, DC films, Marvel TV, DC TV, or are you just looking forward to the fact Arrow is renewed for two more seasons? Two more seasons? Confirmed to season seven. Oh no! <laughs> and and more more seven. That's three seasons then. Five, six, and seven. Five's already confirmed. Yeah, but it's not... It's signed off for two more seasons. Five After five. Film. Yeah, five's ready. They're halfway through filming five, you dumb <laughs> cunt. It shouldn't be. Fuck, yeah, I agree with you on that. Braden, we'll get back to what you were saying first, but first of all, I need to yell at Matt for being a fucking tart and not know how to speak English. God damn. Braden, what did you say? Oh, I was just saying, uh, do you, have you noticed how they're doing very little marketing in compar- for Arrow in comparison to the other DCC t- uh, yeah, DCCW yeah, shows? Do you know why? Because it's shit. No, you, you don't need to market Arrow. The fan base is already there. It's got the biggest fan base of all time, the most loyal ones and the illicity worshippers. So what do you need to advertise for? They'll advertise for us yeah. because all the illicity fans Arrow, keep the show on us. The they keep the show afloat. And look, yeah, look, Arrow, Arrow set the curve for how TV currently is and how it should be filmed. Um, realistically, I think uh, the benchmark for all, all future TV... Is is our yeah, I think I think tomorrow have a long. I, th- I look. I, I think realistically, Game of Thrones is officially they've announced that's ending, and uh, look, I think it's time for HBO to step up and really just just realise that they need to make shows entirely like Arrow. Um, but to answer your question, I'm I'm, I'm looking forward for um, multiple both DC and Marvel films and the Marvel TVs. Um, Luke Cage coming out mm-hmm. very very soon. I think September. So the next week, by the, the time this week episode drops, it it may well be out. Yeah, if not, um, it'd be very close. Yeah, uh, yeah. So um, that's gonna be awesome. Um, 
we're like less than 300 days away from Wonder Woman, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Spider-Man Homecoming, Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is going to be weird. There are two other ones in there that we're, we're very close to. And we've also got uh, <laughs> that, that side of her side. I'm also looking forward to the Star Wars uh, Rogue One, which is coming out. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what they do with that. I, I have faith in the episodes. I don't know about the subsidiary films. Okay. I want to no, be. I'm, I want to be surprised. I'm with you. I want. I want. I want to believe, as the X Files would say. Well, the, the way that um, fucking can't even think of it. The Awakening, the Force Awakening, uh, the way that that went. Uh, I reckon. I've got high hopes for. It. I'm prepared to be crushed if it, if it doesn't come through. But ah, I know you'd be prepared to be crushed every day of your life. Let's get back to talking Gotham. I know we don't want to, so let's wrap this one up. This been a, this be a very short one of our first our first series where we just talk about one well, thing. Well, go on. Hang on. I want to talk Shit, about. Shit, Wade's getting to his notes. Yeah, no, I have written notes. See, Fuck, I have notes. No, it's not that bad. But oh shit. Okay, yellow alert. Yeah, go yellow. Okay, so one thing I had to, I had to think about was was the uh, the two Bruces. So Bruce two, the hairy hippie. Callum. Callum. Hippie. Is he a clone or is he a twin? Clone. Clone. He's a clone? Okay. Uh, Valerie Vale. Oh, oh don't. <laughs> me. I mean, yes, it is. It is. Yes, it's Vicky Vale. So we're basically going on a side tangents again with all the bloody... It also means that Vicky Vale is 15 years old. Oh, no, it's not. It's no. Vicky Vale's fucking mother. Okay. Yay! But this I'm, is going to have some nuts in it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what really pissed me off about her scene? Oh! Fuck this show! It is going to go red. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Keep I, I, the question is, when um, Gordon drops, you know, handcuffs her in the car, mm -hmm. and before that she says, you know, her dad's a cop, her brother's a cop, why don't she have a fucking spare key for the handcuffs? She had to get a freaking screwdriver. And I was thinking, that is just ridiculous. That's, that's actually a really valid point. That, that really Yeah, that's really valid. That's yeah. really valid. Hmm. Yeah. God damn, when Wayne brings notes, he fucking brings the thunder. Oh, I had, like I said, I watched it and I watched it again and, I, and it made no sense. Like, you know, at the start with the uh, the chemist, you know, when he gets straight out the window yeah. from um, Crocodile Man or whatever he was. I don't know man. what the hell that thing was. No. You know, he just stood there while Jim was bashing the crap out of him. Here's the other and thing too that I don't like about that, right? We've literally gone, oh, any anything that anything that's kind of super powered in Batman. Yeah, uh, Hugo Strange made that. Alright, problem solved. Yeah. Mm. Right, good thing we don't need Batman. We're just Jim Gordon. <laughs> Hit the gym signal. I guarantee you, the Jim Mobile and the Jim signal come next. I fucking guarantee it. And the Jim Car. That's what I'm saying. The Jim Mobile. Yeah. I'll be, I'll, I'll, oh, could be a, you know, he could have his own little ring. <laughs> he could be the new Phantom as well. He'll probably, ha he'll probably, they'll pro he'll probably have a secret hideout underneath the police station. <laughs> Fuck this show. Have you got any more points that you want to yell about? I'm, I'm happy with you. Just keep, keep yelling. Let's just keep raging on this. Uh, well, the, the other thing I have is, uh, is Bullock. Yeah. I'm still trying to work out what, what, it, what's his role now. Yeah, well, yeah, he's not the captain. He's, he's not, not the captain, the, and he's, he's just he is, a detective he's, man. But he's just a go-to when there's nothing there. He's now the the. Hey, he's there to explain plot. Mm. No, he's there to help um, Jim Gordon. Oh, he's Jim Gordon's Jim Gordon. No, he's Jim. Yeah, Gordon. no, I'm saying no, it's Jim Gordon. Like, Jim Gordon is Batman, so Bullock is Jim Gordon. No, he's Jim Gordon's Jim Gordon. No, he's he's. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's Jim Gordon. I was going to say, he's more the, the Robin to Jim Gordon now. No, because Robin is youthful. Robin goes into the fights, whereas Jim just shows up. Think about it, Batman shows up and it's like, Jim, I've got a problem. And Jim's like, here's this file about this killer. All right, see you, Batman. Oh, you've already left? Fuck, my bad. When you think about it, Jim turns up and he's all like, hey, Harvey, i got a problem. And Harvey's like, here's all these files about this stuff. I'm always drinking. Where'd Jim go? It's the same character. Actually, no, I think it starts in Hutch. I think he's a huggy bear. 
He is the white huggy bear. Gavel. Yes. Yeah. Because he, you think about it, he is the, he's the, he's the uh, filler for the plot. Yeah. You know, I've got a problem. Oh, Brooke will help me. You know, here you go. <laughs> I'll give you, I'll give you one further. You ready? Yeah. You ready? He's Chief O'Hara. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, there you go, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. I got one. Is he not? Is he not just like, oh, crying my Jiminy's Jim? This town's fucked. We got this letter in. It says it's from Jay Orker. I cannot work out who it is. <laughs> uh, I think it's from the Joker, Harvey. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Good thing you're right here, Jim. What happened? What happened to Bullet? What? You know what? Let's take a moment, everybody. Legs up for Bullock. Hashtag. Hashtag legs up for Bullock. Hang on, I'm just gonna have a drink in my hand. Yeah, it's valid, yeah, dude. Oh, fucking hell, Wayne. Oh, he had a camera. Alright, that was a good moment of silence for that. Nah, I reckon he'll, he'll be back next episode. Next episode, Jim will be back in the police police academy, police force. Nah, nah, nah. Jim's not going to come back till Barnes dies. I think it's pretty clear Barnes is dying. I reckon, nah, this, this show, they never they never drag anything on. Next episode, he'll be back in the police force, I guarantee. Actually, I reckon he's right. <laughs> I'll take him I'll, three episodes. Nah, next episode. I'll put, I'll put money on it. I'll put money on it. I want to say I want to just argue for the sake of arguing, but I think I think Brandon's right. Oh, yeah, that's the point. I can see the other side, and I'm like, nah, he's right. Don't just be like, yeah. People will get confused. What if? Hey, here's an idea. What if we dress Jim right? He goes back to the police force, but because he's higher up, he gets plain clothes and shit all the time. So we dress him entirely in black, but with a yellow tie for the symbolism that he he might be like inspiring Batman. No, we'll give him no because he's a bounty hunter. We can give him. Uh, Azrael's body armor. And the cape will be like Bruce will look up to him now because he'll be like, Yeah, I wanna be like this Jim Gordon. I just really wanna to see now. I wanna see Jim Gordon grow the handlebar moustache, the long mullet, and do dog the bounty hunter style shit for like one episode. <laughs> Which is like, yeah. Like he's still hella Jim Jim Gordon series he's like, I just found this goddamn. short young film because he wouldn't sign the waiver to release his face but uh, I released his face with my fist <laughs> I'm Jim the Bounty Hunter I want to watch that Bruce did you get that on camera <laughs> Master B I think I forgot to take the lens cap off <laughs> should we get some pancakes in, in France no in Switzerland they went Switzerland um, didn't they go to France? No, they went to no, Switzerland. Switzerland. They were skiing in Switzerland. Oh, so they weren't having a... They weren't sitting in a cafe in, in no. Italy. No, Italy. No, Italy. Sadly, Apra didn't take him there and go, one day, if you ever want to get out, like, just come to this cafe, right, and just sit every day. I'm just going to sit here every day, forever. And if you turn up one day, then I'll be like, all right, then. Like, this yeah, should cool. be pretty sweet. I know, I know you made it, eh? I'll drink me tea. I'll know you're nothing in some bitches, and I'll be like, hey. I'll be all like, isn't that that cat bitch? She's still like fucking this tall. She's just a walking god before you now. You look like Shaquille O'Neal and his wife. Speaking of which, has anybody seen Shaquille O'Neal and his wife? How the fuck does that work? His dick has to be the same size as her. Probably punches through her stomach. I legitimately, now. man, I'm, I'll be surprised if more than this much of his dick goes in. If it does, oh. if it does, she must, like, it has to come out the other end, like, you're a centipede style. Or something. Because there's no fucking way, mate. He's the only person who can spit roast a bitch himself. Oh, what's that? You're choking up on some food? It's Hang on, bitch. Around. No. <laughs> you're choking on some food? Hang on, I'll just put this in your hand. Pushes it out, man. Yeah, it's like, I'm pretty sure he, he can fill all three holes at once. It just goes, it goes up one hole, out the mouth, round back, and through back in. It goes vagina to ass to mouth without... Sorry, vagina to mouth to ass without even need to pull out once. And 
staying away from our sponsors. <laughs> so yeah, that was this week's Gotham. Let's hand out some awards, shall we? Have you got a Guggenheim? An Unky Googs Award! Not enough Unky Googs to give out to this episode. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna have to pull a brain and just go to the writers. Cause this is just getting fucking silly. Fish Moonies have fucking powers and like, um, you know, I do have to say though, I'm glad that Miss Peabody's dead. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Fuck that bitch. Don't worry. As soon as we meet a new black character, they'll kill fish. Where's the spots? No, it's still around. For now. I know he's in the comics, I'm sure they'd kill him. Um, and replace him with his son, Lucius. No, if, if, if Jada gets a fucking Oscar nomination, then they'll fuck her off. Be like, yeah, you got your Oscars now. <laughs> fuck off, bitch. <laughs> Sorry, Matt. Jada Pinkett Smith and Oscar nomination. No, that was a good joke. But, that really was she, good. She's a really good actor and, like, <laughs> deserves it and shit. Oh, uh, yeah, like, yeah. Hey, hey. Um, Jennifer Lawrence will be getting a, an Oscar next. Of course. Tell that to Denzel. Hey, my woman, Hallie. Uh, She's more mocha than black. Hey. Once you, once you got the black, you gotta go back. Well, hers was genetic. Can you go back from genetics? Well, unless you're Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah, that's chemical. Michael Jackson proves that the joke is that that joke you think about getting dropped into a vat of ass and turning white is legit. Because <laughs> that bitch got dropped in something and turned out exactly like Jared Leto's Joker. Yeah. So, Brayden, you got a goose? Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah. I would go with the writers, but I'm actually going to go with Fish because I'm fucking done with her. I'm so done with that character. Yeah. Yeah. Wayne? <laughs> just pass it around. I, I, think I, got sick, I think I got sick of just about all of them. Where? I mean, so I mean even Gordon. I mean, you look at uh, Gordon's hair. You're just calling John Gordon. Just then, John Gordon, Jim Gordon, Blair. Fuck this guy, whoever. Batman. I'm hoping with Batman. Paul Allen. But, you know, like, uh, when he was chasing the, uh, that man bat, you know, he just, the hair looked like a fucking broom. Yeah. Or a mop. Yeah. You know? Yeah, there's, there's one thing that, that uh, Gordon has going for him. Yeah. This show can't do. Mm. Yeah, they're yeah. pretty bad. Um, yeah, I'm giving mine to Batman. Because, um, like, all the villains are here, so... Why is Batman here? Yeah, like, he's, he's like, they Okay, here's my problem. We now have super-powered villains, meaning that by the time Batman is old enough to be Batman, this, this town's destroyed. Brain. Yeah. Because they've just been like, what are you going to do about it, flashbag? Yeah. <laughs> kill, kill a croc? Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I reckon that was a killer croc. Prototype, probably. Sorry, Brad, we were talking over you then. What were you saying? Especially because Batman became, or Bruce Wayne became Batman more because of the corruption and, and the crime in Gotham, not the fucking superpower. And the villains villain. turned up as a side effect of Batman. That's the thing. Not the other yeah, way around. Bullshit. So my mind goes to Batman because he stopped doing his job. Slack fucker. All right, have you got a uh, Cranston? I'm giving mine to the kid that plays Bruce, David, starts with an M, can't remember the rest of it, Moretz or something. I'm giving it to him just because he, the differences between clone Bruce and real Bruce were actually quite noticeable. Yeah, true. And I'm giving props. Yeah, I'm, I'm giving mine to Alfred just for the scene in the boardroom, because he just kicks ass. Alfred just kicks ass. This Alfred kicks ass. He's Alfred. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to do an hour and four split and just go those two. Yep. Those exact reasons. <laughs> Salty cunt himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to save mine for the next one. Where? Oh, shit. Um, okay. Okay, let's just leave it there. Now that <laughs> what needs to be said. You are 
you're brave to save it for next one because I don't think this show is going to get any better. So you're going to have like Cranston's up the arse. <laughs> Try he'll save the legends of tomorrow, and then be like heat wave, heat wave, heat wave, heat wave. Uh, <laughs> give it, I'm just giving all twenty of the heat wave because he was just heat. Oh, okay. Before we get into thumbs up, thumbs down, apparently in this season's legends tomorrow, heat wave gets a girlfriend. Nice. It's like, finally a love story I'm actually going to be intrigued to see. Because you know, he'll be like, what's your problem? You just like set things on fire. I'm like your underpants. You I'm going to set you on fire. What's the matter, baby? Would you like to feel the burn? <laughs> Not up my asshole. Whatever. Sure, Hold on fast. tight. <laughs> I don't use lube. Coming in hot, going in dry. <laughs> I ain't judging. Neither should you. <laughs> anyway, thumbs up, thumbs Actually, down. Actually, you know, yeah. we ain't judging. Not, not I. Oh, we ain't judging. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, thumbs up, thumbs down. How many? Four, five. Well, how five down? I'm going to Braden special. <laughs> Sitting on that fence, mate. Get me a saddle. I'm riding the fence. Yeah, I'm joining you yeah, on the fence. What is uh, right? like, there's there's some, <laughs> there's like, no, some no. good characters in there and some great actors, but the story is just shit. My only problem with this fence, Brayden, my only problem with this fence is that it, it's really, really pushing on my Jesus zipper. Yeah. <laughs> you just you just gotta sit you just gotta side saddle it. I think I might have to. <laughs> I need a lazy Susan to like roll myself off of it. <laughs> Wayne, what do you got? Oh, fuck. I'm going to go one down. One down? One down. All right. All right, well, that brings us to the end of Gotham. Uh, there was no other TV this week, so there'll be the only video that comes out for uh, for this one. And uh, next week, we'll be back with some more Gotham. But it is time for a special announcement here from the cave. And this one is actually fairly heavy duty, so I have to go to Red Alert. Oh, here we go. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you can't really see me, but I know you can hear me. And that's what matters. That's what's important. And the reason that I'm, uh, the reason that I'm bringing this up, yeah, excellent work there, Wayne. Thank you. The reason that I'm coming to you at this moment is with a very, very sad and heavy heart. But unfortunately, we hear it from the Batcave are having to move. That's right. The current premises that we are in, our current Batcave, has unfortunately become unsafe and unfit for... Uh, public and personal use after a recent stint of events. So in order to counter this, we've decided that while we build new premises, hopefully sponge-proof premises, we will in fact be taking at least this side of the cave. Mo seems to be safe from sponge for the moment, but we'll be taking this part of the cave on tour to secret locations from around the world. Wow. So for the next few weeks, we'll be going around the world while we finish building um, my new, or our new, Bat cave underneath Thunder Manor. Let's bring the lights back up. And um, yeah, look, it is a bit of a sad day. It's been it's been a wild ride here in this cave. We've had a lot of fun times. Yeah. A lot of crazy shit has happened here over the last eighteen months <laughs> in this cave. But it's onward to bigger and better things, a bigger and better cave, and hopefully a sponge-free future for all of us. True. Sure. On that note, and on. Perhaps, and for, for definitely from the last time from this back cave on that bombshell, I've been your host, Red Thunder Adam Gerard. He's been the dad, Night Brain to Hearn. So he is. That's been the probe, Matt Richards. And of course, he is the one and only LL Cool Elder. Word. And we will see you all next time from the very first international from the back cave. Cabana Production.